we'll go ahead. <coughs> we'll go ahead and call the budget committee meeting to order, please. We do have uh, some minutes from August the 6th. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from August the 6th. Any questions or concerns? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. And it's unanimous. And I'll turn it over to our. I'll do this as quickly as possible. I saw a, a cringe already looking. The fund balances have been adjusted <laughs> to actual from estimated. Uh, we estimated about 1.4 in the general fund as far as uh, revenues exceeding expenditures. It was closer to 700, 750,000, something like that, uh, primarily because of payments made for storm damage. We talked about doing that on a capital outlay note, and we never did. We still can do that if you want to, but we never have. So far, we just paid the storm damage out of pocket waiting on FEMA reimbursement. So. Do you know how much the reimbursement will be back? It's uh, in excess of 1.2 million. Okay. Yeah, it's in excess of 1.2 million. So we'll get, up, we'll get back up past the 10. We will. We what is that expected to be? You know, mm -hmm. 18 to 24 months from when we got everything filed, which has been probably a couple months ago. You know, they're, they're going to drag it out as long as possible. I, that, that sounds negative, and, but I mean, that's basically what I've been told. Sort of won't be in this budget year, so what's your what's your thoughts on doing something different? You know, I think we can wait on that right now. It's the committee and the commission's uh, choice, but if you want to look over at the revenue report, for example, we got, uh, which we had budgeted um, 1.5 million. If you look over, I'm sorry, I have to find the right page. Should have marked it before I came in. Oh, it's not on the. It's not. Not the back. Go to the back. That's what I want you to look at. The revenue report. The uh, third page, three of eight. You see, there's a million nine ninety four five thirty one. That's the COVID money that came in from the state uh, grant. It started out at almost one point six million. One point five nine. Uh, they then came back with an additional award, so they have given us almost $2 million. Uh, and then, you know, this is not usually a good revenue period for us, but you can see uh, that the column to the left represents uh, July and August together uh, for uh, the previous year and then this year. So you see we're <laughs> over $3 million ahead. Two million of that is that uh, COVID grant that we didn't get last year. And another million or so of it is an increase in business tax, which seems to be a timing issue where uh, I think some people filed, usually that's filed around the time you file your income tax return. So that's one point, you know, we got 1.2 million in business taxes, whereas the same time last year we had 110,000. So I, I can't say that anything is negative at all. I can point to a few anomalies. But I can't look at any place and say, other than hotel motel tax, I can't look at any place, sales tax or otherwise, I can't look and say this looks like things are trending in a negative direction. I think Ed, Karen, to add to that, Mountain View got their 1.2 million of the day, I believe, from FEMA, uh, which was documented. So it may be running a little ahead of schedule, so we might get out of here much quicker. We, we could. Say? We could. Okay, here's a copy of the press release right here. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Should not come in. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, I just going by what people, uh, including the people I was working with at FEMA and TEMA, told me to expect. Yeah. Which I heard that too. Yeah. Now let me ask her. They always say no question. It's a dumb question. Down here, I'm still paid five or eight. You got a minus current property tax. Minus one sixty. I mean, it's yeah. There, there can be no current property tax received right now. So basically, something got uh, booked in there and reversed back out. Uh, current property tax would be property tax for twenty twenty one, which we don't or twenty twenty, which we don't start collecting until October. I just noticed it had a minus yeah. beside it. Yeah, so. something got booked in there that had to be reversed back out. Mm -hmm. Hotel motels. Ninety thousand down. Yeah, hotel motel taxes down, uh, for sure. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, what I'm looking at is 180. So let's call it 190 versus 120. That's that's the, or 74, 75, something like that. Oh, you're looking at the okay. We're looking in the general fund. You actually you'd have to combine those two funds together to get a true dollar. 124, 55 percent of it goes into fund 124, and the rest of it goes into the general fund. Yeah, so it's down. Yeah, in the uh, in the ag center. Yeah, it's that's that's where the vast majority, not the vast majority, but the majority goes. So it's a, yeah, that's a good place to look, commissioner. It's all. So you add both those together. So you'd add both those together. So if you're 90, off 90 and 70, you're off. You know. 250. Yeah. But you still feel pretty good right now. I do. Uh, you know, we we made uh, provision to make transfers to the ag center, which the commission approved. Uh, the ag center is having events. Uh, they're having, you know, we're it's something that I'm keeping a very close eye on because uh, obviously, I mean, that's the place that right now is in, that needs the most individual attention. So it's definitely something that we're paying close attention to. Just wanted to again we wanted to point out that we had made the adjustments to actual from estimated we still have the opportunity to do a capital outlay note if we felt it was necessary I don't feel it's necessary at this time but you know, if we change our minds we can do that at any time the uh, everything else you know I was like I say I'm I, I'm pleased overall uh, if if you had told me the picture would look this good a few months ago, I would have, um, I would have taken it and been very happy. So the health department on budget is 1.2 million, and they've used 156,000 for their programs because they've been occupied with other things. Let's see. I'm assuming you're on page page two. Page two. 46 310. 46 310. Yep, they use 13 percent. I could give you on another report, uh, Commissioner Glover. I could give you the detail of exactly what they've spent money on, but that's uh, that's what they've spent so far. Spent and or obligated. Maybe they'd be work, worse off than that. Mm -hmm. You know, I could say that about almost everything that we're looking at. Interest earned weird. <laughs> Which, uh, up 1200 percent. Yeah, I mean, it could just be timing uh, of an interest uh, where we draw interest from, you know, where we have money basically uh, in building funds. You know, interest comes in and gets deposited. I will, I will look into that and get you an answer by the county commission meeting as to exactly where that interest comes from. Anybody else have anything, any questions for Aaron? Mm -hmm. Out here? Yep. Just real quick, I noticed on the first page, uh, adequate facilities tax is not counting that because it's always in arrears and you need a month or two. No, actually, that is not a revenue item of the general fund. So it actually shows up there. Uh, it really shouldn't. Uh, it shows up in fund 151 and fund 189. So you have to flip back. Um, 151 is on page 7. So we've received about... Uh, a million, a little over a million dollars of a estimated six million in that fund, and in one eighty nine, we received a little over five hundred thousand of an estimated three million in that fund. Thank you. Absolutely. Anything else? 
tape. Uh, entertain a motion to accept Aaron's report. Motion. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, going to the agenda. Um, I think capital projects is next. Yeah, the first one is our final payment on the Highland Heights property. Uh, it just uh, when we did the budget, we I didn't put that last payment in there. So this is the last payment from capital projects on the Highland Heights property. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any questions, concerns? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That's unanimous. Okay, circuit court. I uh, don't know if anybody's here from there tonight, so they need additional money. They're taking from their archives and records management reserve uh, for their local government software and for EMS storage for all the court records, the court cases that are uh, are stored with EMS. It's, uh, both those are pretty sizable expenses for them. So Motion they're asking. Second. Yeah. Motion and second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Uh, the county clerk is requesting to take money out of their reserve account for office equipment for the new county clerk office in Mount Juliet. Motion to approve. Question. Will this be taken? Will this be off of a state uh, bid? They'll get the stuff off the state. Well, it's less than ten thousand, so they won't have to bid it necessarily. But I will do everything I can to be sure that they uh, that they do. Uh, I'll check and see if they're going to buy off state bid or what they're going to do. They haven't addressed it specifically with me. Any other questions? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Debt service. In debt service terms, this is a relatively small adjustment. It is 437000 but there were two debts that we entered into toward the end of the year. Uh, the energy efficient upgrade was right at the end of the year, and then shortly before that, we had the, uh, the one for the facilities uh, at the schools. Uh, so this is just to add those two to the debt service budget. Motion to approve. Second. Question. Yes. What does it bring the account down to? Well, uh, if we look, this is one hundred fifty-one had a balance of uh, thirty-one million, and afterwards it still has a balance of thirty-one million. <laughs> Good news, good news. Yes. Any other questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Close the same sign. Okay. Uh, the next one is to correct balances in Homeland Security money. They run on a federal fiscal year, so the grant comes in October, uh, runs October to September, where our fiscal year runs July to June. So basically, there's some money that still needs to be appropriated on the Homeland Security grant. So motion. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Unanimous. <coughs> Brian is here. Brian, do you want to speak to these? I think we're on Wima Row now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm in the same order as you are, but. You tell me which one you We're got. We're on the 828. Uh, uh, COVID recall. Okay. So that one up here. So this is a line item transfer for a refund where we had uh, purchased some uh, items from the federal COVID money, and then they were unable to get those by the end of the budget year, so we got reimbursement via check and it was deposited back in the general fund and we're just moving it back into that fund so we can use it motion to approve. as it's second. intended. I have a motion and a second to approve the line item transfer. All in favor yeah. say aye. Aye. Uh, same time. Yeah. I'm sorry. You might want to look at the, how medical has failed correct that before we put it in. Sure. Got it. I must have wrote that one. <laughs> 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 the next one you got, I think, is a fifteen hundred dollars, and that's to uh, to make a uh, a line. And Aaron can speak to this. We're trying to uh, clean up some of the seven hundred lines. So if you spend less than three hundred dollars on an item, it would be in this four sixteen line. So when we get a new ambulance, we may need small items to get on that ambulance, but they're less than three hundred dollars. So it's moving 
some money that's already in the ambulance fund just to another line to be able to purchase those less than $300 items. Mr. Burke? Second. A motion and a second to approve. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 The next one is just moving some uh, uh, 10 care money that was uh, left over from last year and it rolls it back into uh, or transfers it into that appropriate line as well. Motion to approve. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the transfer. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Unanimous. The next one is uh, moving uh, $500 into the ambulance fund, and this is uh, from a check from one of the ambulance services through the resolution for the private services in the county, the uh, permit fee. Motion. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Any questions? Comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same side. Unanimous. This one is taking money from the reserve fund on the ambulance fund mm -hmm. and putting it into a spendable line to where we can take what we currently have in that line plus this amount, 134000 to buy an additional new ambulance this year uh, to replace or trying to get rid of all of ours, uh, the boxes that are 25 plus years old. So this will give us, get us down to six. It's moving it out of the reserve uh, rollover fund. So we would still have six that have boxes at that age. Is that what you were saying? I think that is correct. Okay. I just want to be sure I understood what you said. Motion approved. Second. Do we have a motion and a second to approve? <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, the cooperative properties. The next two we can really address is one, and Brian, would, uh, he's liable to, to kick a chair here in a minute because Audit actually uh, granted us the ability to purchase from a cooperative, which they usually don't do. Uh, there were two cooperatives. One is Sourcewell. The other is U.S. Communities. Uh, what a purchasing cooperative is, by the way, they go out to bid for a vast array of items. And so the stuff has already been bid, so if you buy from the cooperative, you don't have to. What we discovered in one case, uh, it's actually Ms. Sharon Lackey that discovered it, I believe, although it might have been someone else, but Ms. Lackey that brought it to my attention, that they could buy uniforms for about half the price using source well than they could otherwise. Uh, we sent it up the chain to Ms. Katie uh, with the Comptroller of the Treasury. In order to do this, you guys have to pass a resolution allowing us to purchase from these cooperatives. That's why they're in the packet. I've got it here. Uh, and one resolution for both of them is okay. That would be fine, sir. All right, I've got it right. So this is similar to buying on state bid area? It is, sir. It is, but they're very picky about the ones they'll let you buy from. No we, we've been to cases, well, I said Brian would kick a chair. We've had cases where we've had the, them in our office and said, look, we know that X County bought this from this particular cooperative and got, you know, nobody said anything about it. And they said, you can't, it's not. So this just not gives us enough, another opportunity to it gives us something a, at a cheaper price. It does, it does. These Doesn't are, necessarily mean we're going to, but gives us the ability to. These are good things. Uh, yeah, just have to be, uh, we can't necessarily buy from every one of them that comes along. Out. These two qualify. That's what I'm, I'm Yes. Aaron, I got a question. Yes, sir. Uh, there's several of these out in the private sector are called binders. They're just lot leveraging buying power, but there's typically sometimes fees to get into these. Are there any fees to join into these? Or? There are not. No fees. Hmm. Make a motion on the resolution. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the resolution. Any questions? Any additional questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same sign. Okay, the next, uh, <coughs> the next piece of business is um, something that came up in animal control earlier. And uh, uh, Mike, I'll let you 
fill in the blanks here. All right. Um, three years ago, I guess now, in 2017, the County Commission adopted a resolution to appropriate $50,000 to new leash on life for them to spay and neuter dogs and cats, including feral cats. I'll work that in there. You don't want my definition. You don't want my definition. <laughs> so included in that resolution was the intent to appropriate fifty thousand dollars for the next two fiscal years, which was eighteen nineteen and nineteen twenty, the one we just concluded. Also included in that resolution was the option for New Leash on Life to come back for the fiscal year 2021 to seek $50,000. As you know, COVID-19 <clears throat> hit. Um, we, the comptroller said, you know, let's get your budget done. We went through the status quo. We didn't have anybody come in and make the, their dog and pony show pitch about how they ought to get money. In this case, cat and dog pitch. Um, so they really didn't have the opportunity to come back even though we gave them that. In the meantime, the finance committee uh, determined that if anybody came during the fiscal year after the budget was adopted and they could have come earlier during the budget process, then if they tried to do that during the year, it would take a two-thirds vote of the county in this situation, New Leash on Life couldn't come in. They, they're not waiting till now because they wanted to. They couldn't come in during the budget time. So the question became, how do we do this and reconcile it with what finance had done? And I think the difference here, so that you don't have other groups coming in later on and, and trying to use this, is that these folks had an option to do it and we didn't allow them to exercise the option because of the something that was beyond everybody's control, ours and theirs. So I set about to draft a, a resolution. I did. I told the Animal Control, I had a real pretty resolution and created an inter interlocal agreement with us and New Leash on Life for $50,000 a year. And they, you see the restrictions there, they were on there pretty much that was, came from the last resolution. I went to walk at lunch and, and I got to doing some thinking and I thought, I'm not sure we can do an interlocal agreement with a private agency like that and sure enough we can't. So I have done a resolution here for your consideration, Animal Control approved, where it appropriates the 50000 to them for this year and then the intent is to continue appropriating $50,000 in future years unless there, a little twist on it, a little that helps them, unless this committee takes action, or this commission takes action not to. So in other words, it would be $50,000 pretty much by contract. So that's, uh, that's what's in before you tonight. I think this will work and not compromise what the finance committee did. The finance committee was trying to limit somebody coming in here in January or February and saying, you know, I need $50,000 for this or whatever and you request and what y'all have done in the past is try to bring it back during the budget season. So that's what I've done there. Uh, what, we've, what we've done still requires them to give their quarterly reports on designated months. They get credit for $50 per cat and $75 per dog up to $50,000 a fiscal year. If they don't use the entire fifty thousand, then it'll roll back into the general fund balance, like everybody else's budget appropriation does. And um, I think that pretty much covers it. Is there anything else in there? I forgot one more. No, uh, it was kind of a long-winded explanation, <coughs> but I wanted you to know because I'd had several <coughs> comments from several different commissioners, and there was a willingness to consider this and to approve it, but they did not want to violate what the finance committee had done. I think this is, I think this will handle that. I don't know if anybody else out there has got an option like this is what I'm saying to you. I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve to get it on the floor. Second. And a motion and a second. Now, comments and concerns? 
And this, got, is, this is a one-year agreement. No, no, it's actually it's it, it will carry it on for it another will three carry years. On. You can't appropriate in future years, so all you can do is say intent to appropriate. Okay. And we did that in the resolution three years ago. So this will be the same as, as it was. Words. It is, except this time it's it goes on and on, and the show stop. I had a question too. Um, this fifty thousand dollars will come out of general fund. Yes, come out of the general fund. And as I understand it, it, it doesn't violate our rule. It doesn't drop us down below that threshold where two thirds is required. No. So I think a majority vote will do it. And it. See, any other comments from the committee members? Just for reference, two thirds majority vote or? No, I think it'll be a uh, just simple majority. <clears throat> Second. Anything out here? That fifty thousand would go from the general fund into the uh, animal shelter fund, and then they would apply as no. they use the funds. No, we're just we give them fifty thousand, and what they don't use comes back. That's correct. Okay. And basically, I think you kind of you know this is Aaron's department and Lebron's, but I think what happens is uh, it's kind of on a reimbursement basis. You know. So they apply monthly for these funds? Is that how it works? Or? I don't know how they do that. We didn't have this type of agreement before, so this is new territory. The, the agreement that we had before was very simply 50000 a year for three years. There was no attachment as far as, you know, X dollars per animal or whatever. So um, this agreement has a, has a section I saw just in reviewing it really quickly so you know but shall be given credit of blank dollars for each Wilson County dog or cat that is spayed or neutered you know there would have to be some mechanism if we were going to do that there would have to be some mechanism for them to report back to us you know what they had actually done um, and I think they're doing that in a quarterly report yeah may, um, very well yeah. maybe you know yeah. um, I, I confess that I don't come to very many animal control meetings and, <laughs> well, they're, they're short Maybe meetings, so they're well. fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, uh, what just, my thinking was, window. in hearing individual comments <laughs> over the last few weeks, was some <clears throat> that want to vote for this, and I believe Will wanted kind of a check and balance on there. We want to know how many, how many you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to word it where, you know, how it is when you want something, you gotta, you got to put the wording in there that you know where you can get 13 votes. And I think this will cover everybody's concerns, I hope. Okay. I, I think the question is, and, I, and for me as well, <clears throat> is the 50000 will the $50,000 be just now appropriate when it's approved by the commission? If it is approved, will it be appropriated to New Leash on Life, the total amount, and they will report to us quarterly how these funds are, have been used. I, I, we can do it any way you want to. I wasn't really trying to get over into that area. I didn't. So what I was hearing was they just wanted some accountability. Okay. Um, and I did say reimbursement. I did say that. Okay. What What would be the other option, Aaron? I'm sorry, sir. What would be the other option? I mean, I don't want to cause any more work on you. Yeah, or your, or your, or your I, I think I think basically all we need to do is is fill in the blank, and then uh, I think the lady with New Leash had her hand up so she can speak. I mean I think they could send us a report uh, via email or via some means of saying you know this is how many we've done, uh, but basically if we don't fill in the blank, uh, which we'll probably need their help to do, you know. Which blank? The one that says I'll be given right a credit here. of blank dollars for each yeah. dog or cat. Seventy-five for dogs, fifty dollars for cats. Yeah. Okay. That's what she told us that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Animal control. Okay. I can tell you in the past what was done is it was allotted at the beginning of the school year and we spent it down and we've just reported each quarter and part of the reason and again it's however you want to do it but some people will use. Dollars of that fund, and they'll pay 30 or they'll pay 50. Some people can pay only $10 and we'll use 40 or 60. So it's not a set amount per animal because we do try to get some kind of copay from every person to extend those funds. As long as, and but you're that would be 
<coughs> that information would be available on the quarterly, quarterly report. report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And they're due a report this month, according to that last resolution. Yeah, basically, uh, at, at the end of September. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we set them up on a little different cycle than our other normal reports. So basically, the first week of October, we send it over. And the other thing that I would ask, if it should be there or not, and 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 I feel bad for asking, uh, but I. I I'll ask anyway where it says none of the proceeds are to be used for salaries of any officer or employee of New Leash on Life as long as they earn it from $70 a dog, $50 a cat. Why do we care? There was some concern about that three years ago. So that's a carryover from three years ago. Okay. Why the concern was there, I have no idea. I think it was just a new model and nobody was sure yeah. how it was going to work. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, I'm sure they have enough in utilities and other things that they can say that money went there. That's where we put the money. But you know, they're obviously you're talking about if you're talking about spaying and neutering. You're talking about a veterinary person, hands-on cutting, stitching. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, I don't that's what you're, you're paying for. I don't think you're reimbursing their overhead. You're reimbursing them for their surgical costs. In that case, so. I think it almost by definition has to be salaries although it does it say uh office well it says officer or employee i mean we're all, we're almost definitely paying them for time but you're it's also it's I, not not a department head or a figurehead it's more like no, a contract a service service. Mm -hmm. i con i contacted one of our our local vets and asked them about uh cost of materials and and supplies that is required to perform these procedures. Perfect. And uh, and I was using the seventy dollar figure, and and I said, now take the personnel out of it. I just want to know the cost of all the stuff that's being used and all this. And they said the seventy dollar figure was a good figure. Oh, awesome. Okay, that takes care of my question. Sorry. Yeah. So this is basically like an insurance fund. We're giving them insurance money to for these services to provide for these animals. So if you look at the, the fee for a cat, it's $50 for a cat. So if you got $50,000, that's a 1,000 cats. If they're getting co-pays, are we only allocating them to do a 1,000 cats, or are we allowing them to use the co and go more than a 1,000? Whatever you get for 50,000. Right. Well, when we originally came to you all and had this conversation, we said we would our goal was to make sure that your average surgery cost was under $50 mm -hmm. because we recognize that some people would pay, some people wouldn't, but specifically the feral cats, people will bring them because they do not have to pay for that service because it is not their cat. So that's where they don't pay anything for a feral community cat, but most will pay something for an owned animal. But because we're dealing with a population that's low income, mm -hmm. they often can't pay the service fee, the surgery fee. So they'll pay something towards it. The funds that we're talking about is not based on um, a certain number of animals. It's it's a an, a certain amount that new niche new leash on life is having the opportunity to take it as far as they can, and so it's not it's not based on a number of animals. And basically, the way I understand the program, we won't be like withdrawing any funding on a quarterly basis. When they give a report, we'll be doing a computation saying, okay, that's this much towards the 50,000 and then compounding that quarterly. And then at the end of, I guess, our fiscal year, y'all tell me how we're running this on a calendar or a fiscal year, but right. on one or the other, uh, at some point, if they haven't used the 50,000, at some point would have to be returned back to us. Which, which is easier for you, calendar or fiscal? Fiscal is easier because we do everything on fiscal. Yeah. That's what we've been doing. Yeah. When we make this retroactive back to the first of the fiscal year this year? I think if you wanted to, you could. That's a better question for so the county. So at that terms. point, they did the last time. You wrote them a check the next day mm -hmm. when we passed this resolution. Oh yeah, Get, getting them a check is no problem. Right. I think what Commissioner Jones was asking was, yes. do we count the animals starting back from July one? And I think that's up to you guys. From a monitor, from from your office's standpoint, is this a good way to go, or would we be better off to go back to the agreement we had and give them fifty thousand dollars a year? I understand that changes how it have to go before the yeah, commission and the vote. Whatever y'all do. 
I think if they weren't extreme. But it sounds like we're setting a lot of hurdles. Well, and, benchmarks. And I go back to what I said a while ago, uh, Tommy. Some of the comments I had, people were saying they wanted some accountability and they wanted that. And I was just trying to put everything in there that we get 13 votes. <laughs> this hey, is the only thing. thing I don't. I don't think it would be that. I don't think it's going to be that difficult because the responsibility will be on New Leash on Life to report quarterly how these funds are being used. So I, it, 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 it'll, it'll be okay. I, you, I, I think to answer your question, I think if they weren't reasonably confident that they would hit fifty thousand dollars with the numbers that mm -hmm. they presented, they wouldn't be the numbers that mm -hmm. were presented. Well, I understand that part, but my question yeah. was to you about your office. Is it is it just going to create a lot more hassle for you to have something to do every month? It will not be that difficult. They'll submit a report quarterly. Uh, we will take care of doing a computation based on the figures that we've been given, and it, it won't be that difficult. So you're going to pay them a quarter? No, sir. I'm going to pay them all at one time. I mean, I think they ought to have to walk in dogs and cats by the finance officer. <laughs> <laughs> let him see for Ellen. Mike, you're in charge of the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> let him get a look at it. Show me the stars. Okay. Yes, sir. This is just a historical question, but for the three years that we have funded this 150000 how much of that has been returned to general? It's been spent. Down. It's been spent down each no. year. Yeah. Well, it's, you, it's it was to, it was to cut down on the dog population, right. which she has right. done, right. Right. and now well, we're no, worried about the cats. That's they where we're it, going. Now. They so use it all. Or like yeah. Yeah. They, they use it all. Remaining or was it near ten percent of your cost? <laughs> it's we we really just try very hard to split up the amount into a quarterly, and then we our focus is just. We do a lot more cats than dogs, trying to stretch the dollars as far as we can. Um, and thankfully, part of that's, you know, we started really heavy with dogs. We've seen a decline in animals going into animal control. Cats, have what, we, what we keep hearing about is being a major concern, so we shifted our focus. We certainly still fix dogs, but we definitely fix more cats with this fund than we do with dogs. So basically, for, for, for $12,000 of the quarter, that would take you into what, the first six weeks of the quarter? Um, well, it just it honestly depends because some people, again, pay $5, some people can pay 70 It just depends on what people can afford. So we see some quarters where we go over twelve five and we spend 15 some quarters we only spend 10 because we do our darndest to make sure it stretches for the whole year. So, and it took us some time to learn that. You know, at first they were like, we'll do it all in the first quarter. I'm like, what about the rest of the year? We've got to be consistent. So it was a, it was a new model for us also. Okay, is there any, any additional uh, questions from committee? I do, Aaron, this 50,000 coming out of the general fund, how's it? I know before you kept saying the February, the February date as far as knowing how we really are, how we're really going to be, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Do you do you feel that this is smart, or can you guarantee that we're not going to be taking any employees' jobs, or what's your what's your your feel? Oh, that's a very strong word, guarantee. Particularly as we were talking earlier about one particular fund that bears paying particular close attention to and whether or not if it becomes necessary the county commission would be willing to subsidize that fund further than it's already agreed to. Um, it is um, everything is trending in an extremely positive direction based on what we we're seeing right now. You know that being said yeah my comfort level I don't get real comfortable until any year until around February, until property taxes come in. I mean, that's when I really know whether we hit our targets or not. Do I think the likelihood is that 50000 is going to be problematic for us one way or another? I think it's more likely than not that it will not be a problem. I, you know, I don't see uh, now. That being said, one distribution of fifty thousand dollars leads to if it does lead to five more distributions i mean you, you understand what i'm saying if we get if if fifty thousand dollars determines whether we make it through the year or not well yeah. it's not just this yeah. one fifty i'm talking about the other fifty the yeah. the, mur the pictures the paintings on the walls that we 
we didn't do last time. I'm just yeah. There's the, the, adding up fifty. Another fifty is going to be a hundred thousand. Then you're. I I understand what you're saying, sir. I do, and it's a concern. You know, again, I I know we've stopped several things from, or several things have been stopped from from going forward. Uh, yeah. I understand that. Uh, I could not, in good conscience, uh, answer your question either way. I could not, in good conscience, guarantee you what economic conditions will be and that there will be no employment concerns in the next six and, months. And I know you can't. I just use that word just to yeah. kind of press a point that we don't know what the future holds up. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I will say only that, you know, if it is the will of this committee and ultimately the county commission to do this, that, you know, uh, it's it's not a scenario where this is going to make or decide whether we make it through the year or not. But it is completely up to the committee to decide what it wants to do. Well, anyway, we can leave it at the 50, and if something comes back, I mean, you know, I hope it don't because it's covered it before. So if they need something we have to do, we consider that at that time. Okay. Are there any more questions or comments from the committee? Okay, we do have a motion and a second. Y'all ready to vote on this? All in favor, say aye. Okay. Any opposed? Okay, one opposed. Okay, any other business? I just have one. I know we got that $1.2 million coming to FEMA, but maybe soon here. Mm -hmm. Do you think that 1.2 billion would be enough to plug that gap in hotel motel for accident? I mean, yes, but but there's a lot of activity going on out there at the Ag Center right now. I don't know uh, specifically how much of it is outdoors versus indoors. There's some, some stuff that we need to look at there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, any money that we get in uh, is. But the bottom line is that money will come back into the general fund. Right. And you guys will have to decide whether to appropriate it to the Ag Center Fund. And, and that's, I hope that we don't come down to that. I hope that in the budget process we set aside enough money to get us there. But ultimately that will be a decision that the commission will make. I, I, if we're on new business, there is one thing that I would like to do. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe your chair is finance committee still or today. Today? <laughs> uh, well, we will need to have a finance committee meeting. Most of you know these people already, but the, the 81 Act says that you have to confirm uh, my deputy director. Uh, my deputy director, I have a deputy director one and two. I had a deputy director and an assistant deputy director. Neither one of these people are making what Sharon was making, by the way. Uh, but LeBronia would be my deputy one, and uh, Joe Good is back would be my deputy two. And they have absorbed most of Sharon's responsibilities along with myself and some other people. So, uh, you want a meeting before we make the it, it doesn't have to. I just need you guys to confirm, uh, if you will. I need you to confirm LeBronia. She's been 13 years? Uh, 16. 16 years. 16 years she's done she's done uh, she's done accounts payable she's done payroll she's worked in benefits she's made her way through the the entire office she's got a, a brilliant attitude uh, a lovely person beautiful uh, a degree, family i know a family, family. A, a, uh, beautiful family. a degree from middle tennessee state beautiful university family. she's a certified county finance officer uh, she's not new now, does she need seasoning in the role that she's in? Yes. I mean, nobody is going to be sharing tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Joe is a degree in business from Tennessee, uh, Middle Tennessee State University. Uh, he's been with us for two or three years. He started helping me put together the service efforts and accomplishments report uh, that you guys may remember. See, in that report, we've worked from there into uh, he was critical in helping put together the uh, Comprehensive annual financial report. This will be the first one that we ever issue this year. 
will be the comprehensive annual financial report. So he's worked closely with me since he got here, um, and he's familiar with some things that some other people he aren't familiar with yet. He's also a certified county finance officer. So uh, I'm very proud of those two people. I just wanted you to know who we had selected, what we had decided to do. So, Mayor, I know this doesn't come through this committee, but I, I received a couple of phone calls today. I mean, not this week, not today, this week. Now, it's not even my district, but is there a, what's the latest on Highway 70 between, um, you know, the two lane, two lane part? It is on the, uh, it is on the docket uh, to be done. Uh, I will give you an update on the, uh, when the preliminary engineering will be done. And uh, I can give you a timeline on it. I'll, I'll, I'll get that to you. Okay. It's 2.9 miles is what it is, because um, they're already going out to to a vendor's ferry, um, and that one's uh, that's on its progress as well. So that'll be the first leg done, and then we'll go from there to 109. And uh, what about um, the the devices that were supposedly being considered? Uh, Aaron, I asked him last week. Uh, They took uh, they took bids for that, and it was going to get that from the COVID money that was issued to uh, to us to apply for, uh, and they were putting it in with what Robert's using. He can get reimbursement for the shields and stuff that he's done, plus anything else that he's going to be using for COVID, uh, as well as uh, uh, Joy Cooper was a part of that meeting as well, and so they had two different groups that worked on getting. Uh, uh, money together to apply for. Uh, also, the Ag Center uh, and the Expo Center, there was a pot of money, I think it was 50000 that was set aside for any ag-related event out there in either one of those buildings that they lost. We applied for money for both of those out of the out of that 50000 This money we're talking about here with uh, Robert and uh, Joy, we can go, we've gone out there and asked for any event they had that was not ag-related we're going to apply for reimbursement on that or we lost the rent that those things got canceled so that one whole pot will be coming out of there and that's where the computer you're talking about the laptops right yes yeah that's where they put that at to get that at so it's all in one one piece so it's already it's already been out for bid yeah he's already got a, I think maybe it's a state bid that he got but he got the, the prices and sent that off with these other uh, items that we would like to get money for when we get that money. You know what devices they are? Name brand? No, but I'll get, I'll get him to write everybody. Just curious. Is no, I'll get him to write I can tell you what it is. Yeah. Okay. He's going to go with Adele because the contract, the service contract was better. He was looking at Microsoft Surfaces, um, but Dell service contract was better than Microsoft. So, is so awesome. That's all I, I, can, I can send you guys a, the actual mm -hmm. URL to the product if you want to see it, but they were about a thousand dollars or so. Just curious. Um, so we yeah. receiving the devices where they call. I meant what a deal. So, so they got I get service. Service. Customer service. I will give him the right an email to the commission them all. Yeah. And let you know his timeline on that and when that money's supposed to be in and when he would get that to do. Just bring to the commission the uh the let and road update that way we'll have it for the meeting. I'll send it to everybody. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Second. All in favor say aye. Hey, Brian. Thank you very much.